before we get into the video guys i just want to say thank you for getting the channel up over 10k subscribers i appreciate each and every one of you guys to celebrate i brought the just let me rock hoodies back out for purchase if you want to support your boy and get some dope merch at the same time i'll drop a link in the description for you to pick these up also guys do not forget to use code tecmo if you decide to pick one of these up that will get you 10 percent off but that being said guys like i said i appreciate all of your support let's get into the video yo youtube fam how y'all doing tm nation how y'all doing it's your boy tecmo here again back again with another review and unboxing and today we're going to take a look at another pair of true wireless earbuds under 40 bucks that do not suck these are the Dudios S5 True Wireless Earbuds, and the price is right with these $29.99 retail. It's also important to note that at the time of the video, there's also a 10% off coupon for these on Amazon, making them about $27. Bucks. And at that price, guys, the specs are pretty impressive. They're going to give you Bluetooth 5.0. They're also going to give you CVC 8.0 for those clear voice calls. Battery life is also respectable with these. You'll get about eight hours on a single charge but they also do feature quick charging. As I always do, I'll go over more of the specs and the features of the Dudios S5 True Wireless Earbuds a little bit later on in this video. I'll also do all of my normal tests and give you my overall opinion about how they perform, but before we get into all of that, let me unbox them for you. All right guys, so taking a look at what you get inside of the box, you get pretty much everything you would need to get the earbuds up and running. First, you get your user manual that has pretty much all of the essential information that you need in there. Followed by that, you get a USB type C charging cable to charge the case and a couple different sets of different sized ear tips. After that, the last thing that you get inside of the box is your charging case and the earbuds, of course. The charging case itself is made out of a harder plastic material, I mean, it does feel sturdy in the hands. I don't think that'll have any issues keeping the earbuds safe. But taking a better look at the case itself, there's not too much going on on the outside of it. All you really have is your Dudios branding on the top. Your USB Type-C charging port is in the back of the case, and you do have four LED lights in the front of the case that will show you your case's charging status. One thing that you cannot do with the charging case is wirelessly charge it. You all that watch my videos know that's a feature that I love to have but at this price point, I don't think it's a deal breaker. For battery life with the case, you can expect to charge the earbuds about six times before the case itself goes dead for a total usage time of about 56 hours. And guys, I will say, I have had these earbuds since mid-November and I haven't had to charge the case yet. And yes, I do own many different pairs of earbuds and I test out a few different pair on a weekly basis, so I don't use these every day, but I'm up over 40 hours and the case is still going strong. Now moving on to the design of the earbuds, they look nice in my opinion. As you can see, they have the ear hooks, which makes them a nice sporty pair of earbuds. The ear hooks are flexible, but they're also rigid enough to keep the earbuds in your ears once you place them there. And the earbuds don't just sit in your ears. Once you put them in there, you have a twist back motion that you have to complete to lock them in. In terms of the comfort for me, they're really comfortable in my ears. I haven't had any issues wearing them for hours at a time. As far as the overall footprint, they're not overly large or overly heavy, so they shouldn't feel like an obstruction. But if being discreet is your thing, these might not be the right earbuds for you because of course they have the ear hooks and they do stick out some. But as you saw on the screen, they don't stick out a crazy amount. If somebody's standing directly in front of you or behind you, they'll just see them slightly. While I'm talking about how these fit in my ears, in my opinion, they do a great job of staying in place during workouts. I did take these to the gym with me and I also did some outside workouts with them. No matter what type of exercise I did, they stayed in place and did not move around. And that includes when I became sweaty, I have tested out other earbuds with ear hooks that started to move around once my ears became wet. I didn't have that issue with these. And the way that these fit in your ears will give you some nice passive noise canceling. On the product page, it says that they're noise canceling in one spot and then in the other spot, it says active noise canceling. From my testing, I don't think that they're using ANC technology. If these are using it, it's not that strong. For me, these earbuds didn't block out a lot of the different ambient noises that my other ANC earbuds do block out. But like I said, they will block out some. In terms of the leakage, they do a pretty good job of pushing whatever you're listening to directly down into your ears, but they're not perfect and they do leak some. Let's take a listen. Now, 
Now these earbuds do have built-in mics for voice calls, so you can take and make voice calls directly from them. Like I mentioned earlier, they are using CVC 8.0, and in my opinion, the call quality is respectable. But as always, I took a sample for you guys to judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. All right, guys, so right now I have the Dudios S5s paired to my iPhone 12. The audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on the earbuds. Now, I'm not gonna do any type of editing to this audio, so this more or less should give you a pretty good idea of how you'll sound using these for voice calls. For battery life with the earbuds, like I mentioned earlier, you can get up to eight hours on a single charge, but they also do feature quick charging. Only 10 minutes worth of charging will get you up to one hour worth of use. And when it is time for you to charge the earbuds, they fit into the case nice and snug, so you shouldn't have any issues getting them down in there. As for the water resistance rating with these, these are rated at IPX7, so splashes of water or sweat will not damage them. I did do my water test by spraying water all around the earbuds, and I expected them to pass with flying colors, but I must note, they kept disconnecting. Now I'm guessing that this is a built-in safety feature because when I became sweaty at the gym, they never disconnected once. It could be that the earbuds are set to turn off when water is sprayed directly into them, but when I cleared some of the water off, they worked without an issue. Let's take a look. Moving on and touching on the playback controls with the Dudios S5s, these use touch controls and so far they've been really accurate. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. And I'm happy to report that you don't have to pick and choose with these. You can control your calls, your tracks, and your volume. Like I mentioned in the intro, the S5s are using Bluetooth 5.0 and pairing is super simple. All that you have to do is open up the case and that alone will put them in pairing mode. And you'll know that they're in pairing mode once you see the flashing red and white lights on the earbuds. Once you see that, you'll know that you're good to find them on your device, connect to them, and you're good to go. To test out the latency with these earbuds, I paired them to both my iPhone 12 and my Galaxy S20. Using the YouTube app on both devices, everything seemed to be pretty synced up. The connection range with these for me has also been decent, I can usually leave my device here in my workroom and walk about 40 feet away. All right guys, so moving on and touching on the audio quality with the Dudios S5s, I wasn't blown away by how they sound, but I am impressed with how they perform for the price. The overall sound signature to my ears with these earbuds is relatively flat. You will get some clear highs and mids, but they're not crystal clear. During my testing, the vocals did come through loud and clear, but they did lack some of the clarity with those background instruments. They also pack a decent punch in the bass department. Now it is not overpowering by any means, but if whatever you're listening to has a nice bass line, you will feel it. Overall, like I said, the sound signature is relatively flat, so if that's not something that you like, these probably aren't the earbuds for your listening. So taking everything into consideration, if you're on a budget and you're looking for a decent pair of sports earbuds, these aren't a bad buy. They're gonna give you pretty good battery life, decent audio quality, decent call quality, and a nice design as well. But that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments section. I'll try to get you an answer. The support really does mean a lot, and thank you for getting me 10K subscribers. Until next time, like I always say, y'all be safe, y'all stay positive, and most importantly, y'all have a great day. I'll catch y'all in the next one, but until then, it's your boy Tech Mo, and I'm out. Peace. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.